Hey, Cameron McKenzie here, and I just want to show you where you can find those git config files. I'm first going to show you where they are on a Windows machine, and then I'm going to show you a little magic trick to find them on Ubuntu. So let me find these git config files. And you'll notice that right off the bat, we've got the system config, and that's going to be on Windows, that's going to be in the git installation folders ming64 etsy directory. So that is the system level git config. Looks like I've got a few entries in there. And then after that we've got the global config. Now that is a user base setting. So if I go into my user account, there's me. I'm the owner. Root. Right there. And I should be able to find git config. Give that a little edit. Okay, it looks like I've got some stuff in there. And then for every single project that you have, you also have a git config. There's a git example. That's the repo. And then in this hidden.git folder, make sure that you can see it. I've got that config file. And so that is going to be my local configuration file. Heading over to GitLab there. And then finally, you'll notice this config.worktree, and that's the worktree file. You can actually set up multiple worktrees, so you can actually have folders for master, develop, feature, all running at the same time. Super cool. i got an article on doing that. I highly recommend you do it. So there you go. So those are the different configs. Now, Windows also has this crazy config called, it's under program data, and there's program data git and then there's this config file in here as well and for the life of me I'm not really too sure where that one fits into the whole equation so feel free to mention to me in the comments where that one fits in uh, but I think that's an interesting one as well now if you're working on Linux there's a cool little command I saw on Stack Overflow and it's this command here and you can configure this command. I'll start off with local. And you can see it tells you the location of your config file. That is local. There's global. And there is system. Now this particular repository hasn't had the local workspace file configured, so that one doesn't exist. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure where that portable scope exists on Ubuntu Linux. So again, let me know in the comments if you know of any scopes here and how they apply. And so there you go. That's where all of the git config files are on Windows and Ubuntu. Now if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there, and we've got lots of Git and DevOps and tutorials and articles just on server-side software development. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter and keep up with my personal antics, it's at CameronMCNZ. And, of course, why don't you subscribe on YouTube?